What up to our BitChute viewers? We're coming at you once again from the Smash News Network, the East Busted Name and News, to look at the jet streams of the Eastern world. Clear skies over, looks like all of Western Australia. Concentrated jet stream overhead there, not likely to be too cloudy in those areas. How about the surface winds of this side of the planet? There you have it. Surface winds of the eastern world. Some strong low pressure systems here, one southeast of New Zealand and one south of the outer Aleutian Islands. Let's rotate this a little bit. And there are the surface winds of the Americas. An interesting low wind ridge here happening in the uh, North Atlantic. An area, a string of calm winds. where two different systems are butting up against each other. And here's the jet stream. The jet stream scenario for the Americas. And you can see some very cold air being driven deep into the south central US. Some cold, cold air from Canada causing some violent, violent weather in places like Texas. Major lightning and stuff happening there. We'll get to it in a moment. First, the jet streams of Europe and Africa. Pretty chaotic jet streams here over northern Europe. And it looks like some sunny days over most of the United Kingdom. And last but not least here are the surface winds of the sort of the central part of the planet, right? It's not the east or the west. It's Europe and Africa. And you can see a strong Antarctican low rotating clockwise down here. That is a low pressure zone. Low pressure zones rotate clockwise in the southern hemisphere. And let's blast through some more information. Here's your weather.gov map for counties. Lit click your county. You don't have time to cover all of that stuff, but it looks like the snow is finally subsiding. Is it going to melt? It's going to be an epic melt season. We'll get to that in a moment. First, your lightning map and check out the insane lightning. Yowzers. Crazy lightning over large portions of Texas here. That is berserk. Not to be confused with the Atari 2600 game. So here's a real-time lightning map. We'll just show this brief briefly as this was not a live stream video. It was a recorded video. But this is what was happening when we recorded. We won't spend too much time on that. That's where the active cells are located. There are quite a few of them around the Gulf Coast. Let's take a look at the water vapor environment over the Pacific Ocean real quick. And a huge area of dry, massive air there over the South Pacific. And by the way, make sure you view our videos on YouTube if you haven't. That's where our exclusive daily space weather videos Happen. We're also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash smashomash. We've done two live streams for space weather. We don't just cover Earth weather. It's not challenging enough, so we cover space weather as well. So here's your snow water equivalent, and you can see we're still well over one standard deviation above the normal snow water equivalent for this time of the year. You can see how massive it got. It's the sixth consecutive winter of record snowfall in the Northern Hemisphere. Here is the snow extent. Snow extent still over one standard deviation above normal. Those blue lines represent the plus or minus one standard deviation above the normal snow extent for the northern hemisphere. And this is interesting because it's showing actually low levels of snow mass balance. But keep in mind it does not include mountains. And, well, the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Nevadas are actually quite snowy. It's going to be an epic melt season if it ever gets cool enough for them to melt. But check it out if you're into whitewater rafting. It should be a pretty good year for it. You can see how much snow cover there in a huge portion of the U.S. there. I mean, some of these areas, like, you've still got 61.3 inches of snow there in south-central Montana, for example. There is a lot of meltwater on the way. It should be a, it should be a, a summer of high flow. That's our snow depth 
from windy.com. And here's your positive snow depth change forecast based on the GFS model. And we're expecting a little bit of additional snow here to sort of mop things up in Colorado, a little bit in New Mexico and Wyoming as well. But that is the 72-hour positive snow depth change forecast. A little bit of extra snow coming to Montana there as well. It looks like things are finally subsiding. Here's your 72-hour pressure and precipitation forecast. And we've got a low that's kind of stagnating right in this area. And that's going to affect things. Again, there's dry mass, there's cold massive air being shoved down here from Canada into the south central US and that's causing massive pressure gradients and some severe weather in places like Texas also some severe weather forecasted here for Mississippi Alabama Georgia Tennessee again that's your 72 hour pressure and precipitation forecast here's your temperature anomaly forecast and you can see that cold air from Canada slowly making its way up toward the mid-Atlantic states if you're wondering where smash staff and I are located right there Lehigh Valley Pennsylvania some turbulent temperature changes happening here around the Rocky Mountains some high and low frequency some high and low temperature anomalies right next to each other and in some ways that is typical of Colorado huge temperature swings by the way, if you don't view us on other platforms, you may want to check us out on smashamash.com slash smash team. You can find all of our major releases there. So this is yesterday's posts. You can see our BitChute exclusive, our YouTube exclusive. What the heck? That's weird. It's showing an old thumbnail. It's probably a glitch in YouTube because the software barely fucking functions on the platform. So here's Sunspot 3014 and 3017. That's a... What is going on? Give me back control. There we go. There's yesterday's thumbnail. <laughs> Likelihood of solar flares very high. And again, we put up our releases there on smashamash.com slash smash team on the post page. And we are explaining the solar cycles, the mechanism that underlies them for our gold smash team members before we even release the paper for peer review. So we're going to be writing a publication. We're in the process of writing a publication. That explains the solar polar field reversal and solar sunspot cycles. It's only for our gold level Smash Team members. That's $9.95 a month. There's also a paid up annual subscription. There's also a silver membership, but you won't get that uh, explanation of the solar cycles until it is released for peer review. Next, I would say to each of you, Universum Liberate, do you yearn for freedom and liberty? Yeah. A lot of that going around on planet Earth at the moment. So I utter once again the motto of the Galactic Federation Special Forces, Universum Liberate. If you don't know what it means, you could probably look it up. I would highly recommend that you don't use Google, the pathetic, biased, subjective search engine that does not return objective results. I stopped using Google as a search engine in about 2012 when I realized that it doesn't work as a search engine. I don't know what the problem is, but Google is a massive fucking scam and not a verb. If you're still using Google as a verb, please stop. If you're still using Google as a search engine, please stop. It doesn't function as a search engine. It is a tool to create a bidding war so you can purchase a higher location in the search results. It's a giant scam. It's not a verb. What's not a scam is Universum Liberate. The symbolism represents a key. The, symboliz the symbolism is a key and a lightning bolt, and it represents signal strength, security, instantaneous galactic scale reach and the spiral represents the galaxy you can find links to that at smashamash.com that's the smash o merch link you can find links to smashamash doc to the smash team at smashamash.com etc welcome to the neo renaissance in science we often receive answers to questions not asked which is what's happened with the explanation of the solar cycles so huge bands of moisture here in the central part of the country Again, cold air being driven down from Canada. It's ending right about here. And when it meets up with that moist, warm air from the Gulf, it's creating huge pressure gradients. And I think I just clicked something I didn't mean to click. Let's reset the map and press play. This is the all 50 states view. That's radar.weather.gov, by the way. Ground-based 
Doppler radar systems. Here's shortwave radiation showing clouds and fog at night. It's still dark over half the country. But that's the situation. And here is the water vapor satellite. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're able to forecast your own weather. Here's your recap. Starting with the US Doppler radar, showing vertical motion of water droplets. Here is the shortwave radiation map showing clouds and fog at 3.9 nanometers radiation. And here is the water vapor map showing water vapor, including water vapor, not condensed onto clouds. Once again, thanks for tuning into the Smash News Network, least busted name in news.